Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 27th October 2021, surface to surface ballistic missile Agni 5 was successfully tested from APJ Abdul Kalam Island. The missile uses a three stage solid fuel engine and is capable of striking targets at a range of up to 5,500 kilometers, but unofficially, it is alleged to have maximum range of up to 8,000 kilometers. The missile weighs close to 50,000 kgs, 1.75 meters tall with a diameter of 2 meters. The 1,500 kilogram warhead will be placed atop the three-stage rocket booster powered by solid fuel. The ICBM has a maximum speed of Mach 24 and is equipped with a ring laser gyroscope, inertial navigation system NAVIC and works with satellite guidance. The missile can hit a target with circular error probability of less than 30 meters and can be launched from mobile launcher such as 8x8 Tatra TEL and rail mobile launcher. India has also been working on multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRV for Agni 5 to ensure a credible second strike capability. Interestingly, it has also been reported that Agni 5 missiles are MIRV capable which India has tested indirectly. According to Bharat Karnad who was involved in drafting India's nuclear doctrine, the MIRV capability of the missile's guidance system on chip SOC was tested during the multi-satellite PSLV launch on 25th February 2013, almost nine years back. The MIRV is important as each warhead can be assigned to different targets separated hundreds of kilometers away or two or more warheads can be assigned to a single target. Agni 5 is expected to feature MIRV with each missile being capable of carrying 2 to 10 separate nuclear warheads. MIRVs ensure a credible second strike capability even with few missiles. Unlike Agni 5, Agni 6 missiles are going to be a four-stage rocket. It will have two unique features, a range more than 10,000 kilometers and MIRV capability. As per few sources, Agni 6 missile is likely to carry up to 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of up to 12,000 kilometers. However, DRDO has refused to confirm on the missile range. The huge range of this missile makes it absolutely necessary for India as it will be capable of hitting the farthest corners of China from a safer and survivable distance within Indian territory. If we talk about the development update on Agni 6 missile, its design was complete long time back and was reported to be in hardware development phase. But there has not been much information available about this program and India prefers to be tight-lipped regarding Agni 6. The latest report from the Frontier India explains the reason for it. At present, India's foreign policy and relation with many Western and Middle East nations is at its epitome. Several bilateral and multilateral projects are going on. In this situation, it does not make sense for government to officially admit Agni 6 program as it may ring many alarm bells. But unofficially, Agni 6 project is on track and India has already developed many critical technologies required for this missile and partially these technologies has also been tested and demonstrated. As per the Frontier India report, India could test or at least ready with Agni 6 missile as a technology demonstrator in coming three years and validate the computer simulations. The new generation Agni 6 missile will be much sleeker, easily transportable and will be readily deployed. It will have the capability to launch from submarine and from the land-based launchers. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.